So, what are we doing in Chicago this weekend? this event a couple months ago so I decided to jump on it I told work that it was a like an industry conference which it kind of is of course they probably assumed that it was a real estate um, sort of thing but I think that there's a lot of overlap with certain communities that I'm a part of so we're here at the ambassador hotel of ambassador Chicago which is a hotel Originally, we were going to stay at the Thompson Chicago, but Smiles let us use his Globalist. I forgot what they call that program, but any Globalist member can make a reservation for somebody else, and then that person can use their Globalist benefit, which includes like room upgrade and um, free breakfast, and then I don't know, water. Um, two other people that I follow are here, Pennywise Traveler and Marianne. They're also staying here, so I know that, um, you know, it's a, it's a decent choice considering two other influencers are staying here. Which is funny, yesterday whenever we were coming, we were leaving, I saw Pennywise Traveler at the... It's not like they're celebrities or anything like that, but it's like I do look up to them for their travel hacking knowledge. Um, it's just kind of weird you know you've been following people for a year and then you finally see them in person so yeah today we have we're probably going to go explore and then we have our points and miles meet up at four o'clock and then that's it Is that accurate? No, no it's not potato at all. Skins. <laughs> That's not potato skins. <laughs> Alright, so what's going on? It's raining. <laughs> we don't have an umbrella. We don't have an umbrella. And whenever we got out of the Second City show, it was like pouring rain. And... It's only sprinkly now. Uber was like $25 or something. I was totally willing to pay it because I have $15 off. And then everybody else was like, what? That's so expensive. So then I was like, yeah, it's totally expensive. I would never. And then we went into Walgreens and almost bought an umbrella, but then it was like drizzling. So we decided just to keep walking. I'm wearing sandals, but we're almost home. To the hotel. Okay. To the hotel, right ahead. You don't have to smile. Okay, so um, we just woke up in Chicago, and uh, Chris and I are severely congested. And I would say my face is a little puffy, probably from drinking alcohol last night. It's always puffy. Okay. Anyways, and then now we're going to go check out this breakfast. And the main reason why we stayed at this hotel is because they had breakfast, and the Thompson Hotel was not serving breakfast to globalist members only giving them 500 points instead and 500 points is nothing it's not worth skipping breakfast for three days so let's go see what it's all about <laughs> This is what we're wearing on our first full day in Chicago. 
Chris is sporting head to toe Old Navy, his favorite store ever, and his current obsession of Hawaiian shirts because they're super comfortable. I am wearing my J. Crew top and skirt. Probably the whole thing cost me under $20. And then Bomba socks because they have a lifetime warranty, and I'm all about things that have lifetime warranties now. They're kind of pricey, but they're worth it. The last socks I'll ever have to buy. And then Chris is totally over this whole, let's take a video of everything. Nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. It's not that nobody cares. It's not that nobody cares. It's just that he really doesn't care. But thank you, love. Look at him fixing my makeup. So sweet. Gooey. Gooey, gooey, gooey eyes. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's what that goo goose, goose is to, doing. Do you choose to chew goo Do goo you stuff? choose to chew goo too, sir? If Beatles battle Beatles... <laughs> Park after walking quite a ways. Chris said he wishes that he had sunglasses. Which I was going to mention when we were at Walgreens that you could have fixed them up if you wanted to. Really hot and muggy today in the city. And I feel like every single person in the United States had the same plan as us to come to Chicago this weekend. It's super packed and every single thing that's really cool is there's a giant line outside. We were going to go to Starbucks Reserve but the line was just ridiculous and it wasn't moving at all while we were waiting there. So we decided to bail out of the line. We're probably not missing anything. I mean, like Starbucks is Starbucks, right? And then we saw a Nutella cafe. That looked pretty cool. Also a huge line, but Nutella is Nutella. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's a little, I, it, it wants to go it, to these places. It, they're the same everywhere you go. I want to go to places nobody knows about. She wants to go to places that everybody wants to go. It's they're pointless. Yeah. Like, Chris's go to the negativity places, is really rubbing off on me. No, you go to the places that don't nobody knows about, and there's never a line, and they're the hidden gems. Everybody knows about something that blows up on Instagram or uh, TikTok or whatever. Like that's where everybody wants to go. I want to go to places that nobody knows about or that are left behind. Those are the places that are usually the gems. So. Yeah. Uh, just wanted to like re-mention that we're talking about this while we're at Millennial Park, which is like... Not my choice. Okay. Yeah. I've seen parks. Oh, we did go to um, Lululemon. Chris went to Lululemon for the first time, and we got 25% off because we have a military discount, so that was kind of nice. They didn't really have anything that I was into, but the men's clothes are really nice. I kind of wish that they just had like the men's stuff, but for women there instead of everything being like backless and whatnot that just doesn't gym clothes are fashion clothes now trying to cover up my bad tattoo choices not show them off even though i think my shirt today okay i'm covered great although if there's any place to wear a batman tattoo it's definitely in chicago <laughs> hot so so hot we came back and took a shower and I changed my clothes to basically being the same exact outfit in different colors 
J. Crew, Old Navy. I got these for like $16 at Nordstrom Rack online. And I have a pretty killer sock uh, indentation. Rocking that. Chris is taking a dump, you know, just doing our thing here in Chicago. Feels good to be showered. <laughs> today other than have breakfast at about 10 something Someone and take, too much. I think we each took like two dumps <laughs> this morning and then had a disappointing salmon egg brioche thing at breakfast but luckily it was free so now we're walking in Lincoln Park on our way to the conservatory and it was really nice whenever we left the hotel and now it's super hot and I don't know if you can tell from my voice but like if you can hear it but my voice is kind of scratchy this morning last night was really fun we all met up at the Thompson and there was no bar service so it was like BYOB and there was a bunch of beer from Costco and then we went to their place where we had like the whole floor to ourselves and mingled and then went to um, <coughs> pack your bags with points his uh, Kyle's suite and hung out with him and his wife and his children <laughs> until like midnight probably and I think a lot of other people stayed until even later but his suite was pretty cool it was two stories met up with Hannah and her husband Reese they came over and met us at the at the restaurant and then came with us to uh, the Thompson Hotel suite yeah it was like a lot of fun we were all everybody was shouting up over each other like immediately pretty much um, it was very echoey at the Thompson so even that much harder to try to hear each other and speak to one another. But I met some really cool people, like all, a lot of people that I've been following online, a lot of people that I'm gonna start following online now. Felt like everybody was really friendly and goofy and very authentic, very much like nobody was really stuck up or anything like that, which is appreciative. Um, I mean, usually in like that sort of community, in the fire community, people aren't really stuck up by any means. It was, a, it was a good time. YOLO'd a little too hard last night. Definitely taking it easy today. Even taking our walk easy because it's so hot. And we're just gonna maybe drink coffees and cold drinks and eat salads. to catch this flight hopefully we got to go on public transportation to get there and it'll be take about an hour there are there is no lounge at um, Midway which sucks but there is a USO inside Co Concourse C so maybe we'll go there although I don't really enjoy USOs 
but it's better than nothing. It's just like all processed food. I think that's the thing that sucks the most is the food is just so bad for you. But I usually can get like a free water and maybe a bag of Doritos. <laughs> Thank you.